Hello? Oh, goodness. I I'm sorry. P please calm down. I, I don't... I don't mean to scare you. N no, no, I'm, I'm not a ghost. At least I don't, I don't think I am. I'm right in front of you. No, not towards the door. Maybe it's because I'm covered in dust. Yes, this painting right here. Do wipe some of it off, please. Hello there. N no, you're not asleep, as far as I'm aware. You're right here, speaking to me. A, a painting on the wall. Oh, please don't be afraid. I, I don't want to hurt you. Not that I could. Um, this contains me, after all. Oh, no, 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 I, I promise. I'm not some sort of male villain spirit or s some kind of dark beast trapped here. I'm just a magic painting. My master imbued me with magic centuries ago to assist him in various affairs. But ever since he passed away, I have been here. Nowhere to go, nothing to do but sleep. Well, you certainly woke me up, that's for sure, but I don't mind. You didn't run away from me, so I finally get to talk to someone. So, um, if you don't mind staying for a little longer, could you please talk to me more? Yeah, that's right, I am lonely. I'm the only living painting in this house. And the only other things dwelling here are the mice and bats, and they don't really make for a good conversation. At least my master painted me a couple of things to hold my attention, but, you know, they've become dull over time. What do I want to talk about? Hmm. Um, can you... Tell me about the outside world. <laughs> it's been centuries since I've been outside. I have knowledge of the outside world. The birds singing in the trees and the soft green grass, the water flowing through clear streams. <sighs> the last time I went outside, my master used an old locket that had a scene painted on it. And when he held it up to the side of my frame, I was able to go into the painting in the locket. And he told me to stay still and then we went out to the market. Oh, I saw so many amazing things. People calling out to sell their wares, the different foods they were selling, an artist selling paintings on the street that I would have loved to explore. <laughs> I think... I think it's been over a hundred years now. The outside world is bound to have changed. What? Yes, I can move between paintings or images that are flush with my frame. It feels a little strange. <laughs> it's like... It's like stepping through a curtain of water and suddenly you're in a whole new scene. You know? See these smaller paintings on the sides of my frame? My master gave them to me so that if I got tired of the scenery in my painting, I could take a vacation in one of them. But again, it's been centuries. I spent most of my time sleeping instead. Um, do, do you mind if I ask you a favor? Well, I would like to leave this house. I would love to leave this house, actually. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't be cursed if you take me off the wall or anything. And if my painting itself is too big, then I can move to one of the smaller paintings and you can take that one instead. 
and I mean, if you're nervous about having a living painting with you, I promise I'm good at staying still. I've had centuries of practice after all. <laughs> well, if you're hesitant, I then can I just ask that you visit every now and then? And tell me your stories? It gets lonely in this place. It'll probably get demolished soon, too, so... I wonder what happens if my frame breaks. Hmm? What are you doing? W really? You'll take me with you? You really take me along? Wow, Th thank you. Oh, but, but you should probably use the sheet you pulled off of me to wrap me up. If people see you're carrying a painting under your arm, they might get suspicious. You have a locket at home too? Wow, I can't believe I'm going to be able to see the outside world again. <sighs> Don't, don't worry. I'll be fine. I don't really need to breathe or anything. Thank you so much for taking me along. I'll be grateful for as long as I live. <laughs>